Barney? 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 Barney, where are you? Who knows? Tell you what, I'll leave the door open. He's, he's about somewhere. Oh well, never mind. Right, here we go, everyone. I'm looking for Barney. He's normally behind me, but he's just gone inside. Well, here we go. It's been a while since we've been out into the garden, probably a week or so. Um, lots happened in the garden, and I'm just going to show you around first of all to show you what's been growing, and uh, I've done a bit of planting out and stuff like that. So let's just take a look at what I've still got to plant out. I've still got these seven onions to go out, and they're looking a little bit dry at the moment. And obviously all the tomatoes and everything else has uh, come up. As you can see, the old runner beans have come up now. Look, a, a, a right treat, so I'm really happy with them. And these really all need to go out now, because I've been a bit busy. I've been um, doing other things, obviously. And as you can see, the leeks are coming up now, so they're all a bit dry. I'm going to need to carry on and water. And look at the old watercress there, look. Now, this is what I noticed as well with this watercress. I've never seen it like this before. I don't know whether you can see, but it's actually... It's, it's furry. The stems are furry. Now, I've never noticed that, whether there's obviously different varieties of watercress or not. I'm just hoping you can tell me. All it said on the container was this was cress. So, is that, are you familiar with that? Furry stemmed watercress? I'm not too sure. But um, it tastes all right anyway. But anyway, that's that. So I've never, I've never seen that. That's all I wanted to know. Now look at that blinking rhubarb. Look, them leaves are really taken off under there. They really like it under there. The lettuce is starting to come up now. And I've also planted some of the kale out in that, um, in that container there. And as you can see, our potatoes are starting to come through now. So I'm pleased with that. Everything's taken off. The radishes have taken off there. There's the other lot of kale there. The sorrel is starting to make a show now, which is, is a, a nice thing. And the onions have really settled down now and they're starting to get really bigger there. Uh, there we go with the turnips. I'm gonna have to thin these turnips out and I'm thinking I might put some of them in the raised bed. And as you can see, the other onions there and also the spinach has come through now, which is quite nice as well. Now, the problem I've got here is my cucumbers. Now, in this one, I had that plant there, that one there, there was one there which is shriveled up and died, and also here somewhere. And one there shriveled up and died, and that one shriveled up and died. These two here, for some reason, are the only two that at the moment, again, are still alive. Now, whether that's because they're sheltered or in the, in the enclosed area there, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Now, normally, I'm, I'm probably watering these too much. Uh, the top of the soil's dry, but... I've let them dry out for a couple of days to see if that changed because I'm normally I've got these wet all the time. But um, if you can see them, how they've performed, and then let's go back over to the two that I left in the little seed trays up there. And as you can see, they're still fine. I can't work it out. I don't know why they're all right in here. But as soon as I put them into the uh, the planters over there, the most the majority of them have died off. So I just left them there as a little test. So I don't know, and I'm wondering if you can help me out on that one. I've been doing a little bit of research and the thing I think it is, I think for one I've been over watering them and for two that it's been actually too cold. I should have let them get a bit more substantial and left them inside in the warm uh, because it has been dipping down to about 0.5 here on some night times. It's been about five to six over most nights but it has dropped down really cold. I think last night it went down to sort of 0 0.1. That was in here, don't forget. So a lot of these things have, have stood up to it. But as I say, I think with the cucumbers, I think they might be a little bit more temperamental and like a lot more warmth and heat. So that's all I can put it down to. And if you think that as well, just leave me a little note in the comments box. Those of you who do successfully grow cucumbers, I'd really like to know because the same thing happened last year. And the only cucumbers I was able to grow last year, as I say, I wanted to grow them from seed, but the only ones I was able to grow we brought the plants from the garden centre and they was probably about that big. So in other words, they was a lot more established than what growing them from seed was. And they're the only ones that did fruit last year. All the other ones I grew from seeds, the seeds grew all right, but they all died off when I transplanted them and left them in, in here basically. So let me know what you think about that. So coming out here now, let's move that over there. The old wheelbarrow. 
and let's have a look because I've actually planted out some stuff in the raised bed now and these have been in now for about oh here comes Barney come on come on come around here look come on hello come on up 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 Barney up 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 here he is look quite a few of you like to see Barney in the videos and here he is <laughs> all right come on down off you go go on yeah so um these have been planted in now for about a good well about a week I suppose so let me just show you what I've planted and I can actually see the growth within a week so they must have settled in lovely anyway let's show you right well what I've got here is we've got our Savoy cabbages in here and again these have again settled in really nice so I've got one two three rows and five deep so there's 15 in that sort of uh, area there in here we've got the uh, broccoli and again this has really taken off as well so I'm happy with that and again last year I grew cauliflowers but again we didn't have much success with the cauliflowers I did plant them when they was a lot smaller than this to be honest with you but uh, these ones seem to have taken all right now and I've got left this here so I've got this left for the Brussels sprouts but as I say I've got to plant the turnips and also what I planted out was the peas now I don't, I don't know whether you can see this but look we planted them and within a couple of days can you see them little tendrils coming out there and they grabbed hold of the wire netting look there's one that's done it there there's another one that's done it there and they've all got them little tendrils but they're searching and what an amazing thing is that I've never noticed that before and now it's actually wrapped itself around that wire and it will start to climb that one's not quite found it yet and as you can probably see I've had to put this extra netting up here because of Barney so that's protecting them and they're, they're obviously real settled in nicely in there anyway around the other side like I did last year come on Barney this I've got allocated for the runner beans so I'll plant the runner beans along that side as well and as you can probably see here there's me my um, me plants what's this one here I can't remember what that is. that's my blueberry that was that funny plant that that's what is it called Dutia, something I can't remember, Dutia, whatever that is. This one here is the um, black carrot. Now, again, these look like they're dying off to me because these were very sort of green and lush. But anyway, we'll see how it goes anyway. The fruit trees here, which is the uh, conference pear, which I've stuck in the pot, as you say, which is sitting outside now. And also the uh, Victoria plum seems to have settled down there as well. That was last year's raspberry plant that and originally that was what i planted that one single stem there was all i planted last year and as you can see all this has come off of it and it's literally taken off nicely there's pete frown's horseradish plant there so i'm hoping that's going to be settled in uh, okay so yeah that's what i've been up to and as you probably know down here what i plan to do is to cut in uh four or so planters in the middle of, it, of, of, of along here and this is where I'm going to plant the pumpkins and also I might be do the courgettes as well because they do trowel along and I'll have to put, obviously put a gate on here and a gate down the other hand to stop Barney and it Barney to stop you getting in and treading over everything isn't it hey eh? sit down and it that's what you do isn't it come on in in there come on so yeah that's what we've been up to so although it's uh, a little bit cold out here now as I say the um I've really got to get all these tomato plants and everything else in their pots or whatever and get them outside because I think that you know the, the weather does really get hot in here during the afternoon and um, you know it's about time that this lot went outside I think so it's just getting now the time to do it so I've, I'm going to be doing a little bit of tinkering about today there's not much I'm going to do today now I'll get ready for tomorrow anyway but I've just thought I'd show you around anyway to show you that I have been doing stuff in the garden and it's just a matter of when you can get out here I like coming out here in the evening and just pottering around. I've been busy on the car all day with um, Jimmy, so, you know, then I've got the van and then we've got the other projects and stuff. And then there's our other business as well. So, you know, my day's taken up with this sort of stuff, but it's stuff that I enjoy doing. I love doing it. And even filming the journey, it's quite a lovely thing as well because you can look back year on year out and we're always doing different things. A lot of people, when they do sort of gardening videos, for example, it just means that they just do the same repetitive stuff over and over again. And I didn't really like to do that in mind because once you've done one season and you know, you, you've seen that you, you've planted seeds and they brought them out and then put them into troughs or you've grown them outside and then you water them. I mean, how much more can you do that? So I like to put a bit of variety in mind. So you always see maybe a, a bit with Barney or a bit with something else in my videos. 
and that's just the, what we do in our normal day-to-day -day life so right well it's about six o'clock in the evening Gary's just come home from work and uh, he's just popped around we've been working on the cars all day as you know out the front me and Jimmy and um, as you can see, we're getting loads and loads of lawnmowers again, so they're getting a bit backed up. Well, today's Saturday, so I'm going to finish off doing a little bit of work in the garden. That's what this, vi this, this video is about. But we'll just have a quick look at these lawnmowers, or this one here, definitely, that Gary's picked up. And what is it, a hater? Yeah, a hater 48 self-drive. Right, so let's have a little look at it. Right, as you can see, it's, uh, it's all there. Now, this one actually runs, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've, what was the problem? What did they say was the problem? Um... It wouldn't run on slow speed right and the belt needs adjusting because it will just drive on its own without pushing the lever in so looking around it it's got a few scrapes on it and um but you've actually you can start this and run sort of thing you know yeah it'll start and run right so how much did you give for this one 25 pounds 25 pounds and you've had a little look on ebay what are they selling for in similar condition in similar condition without being belt drive £175 at, for at the minute. Right, so, as I said, this one is actually running, so I think there's going to be a little profit there. But obviously, he'll know more when he um, starts taking it apart and stripping it down. So, that's what he's going to be working on tomorrow. As I say, he's got loads of other ones dotted about the place. He just got rid of them all, didn't you? He was down to how many? Uh, down to two. He was down to his last two mowers. These three here are mine, and if you can see along there... He's got another whole row of mowers along there again now. So he was down to two mowers, but um, as I say, that is uh, what he's got to deal with at the moment. So if we come in the log cabin here, this is one he's been working on. If you can see down there, this is the one he resprayed. I think we showed this one in the last video, Gary, didn't we? I can't remember, I can't remember whether we did or not. I can't remember. Anyway, but that's one he's been working on. So, and what's the matter with this one? Um... We've got to repair the, the gearbox on it. Oh, that's right, yeah. We've got a problem with the gearbox on this one. We've actually gone to the extent of taking the gearboxes apart here. We had a spare one as well. Now, the gearbox that come out of it... Um, where was the gears in here, Gary? Now, normally you wouldn't go to the hassle of stripping these down, but I've never actually stripped one of these down before. And I don't know whether you can actually see how chewed up these uh, teeth are on that gear ring there. But that wasn't the main problem. The main problem was... Yes, it was the main problem, wasn't it? Yeah. So that gearbox was basically knackered. We can't get parts for that. So what we basically did, we sourced another gearbox off of a similar mower that, that went, went on the shaft, which is this one here, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, don't drop that little bit. So we've actually got this other gearbox, which we've taken apart, just to check inside, because as I say, this come off a 40 mower as well. And what we found was this little bit, get the mower, get, get the... Uh, Thing up here what we've got is this little lever inside here as you can see on the bottom of that lever it's got that sort of little tang sticking out when you pull the arm to engage the gear that engages some sort of mechanism inside which makes the self-drive actually work but if you can see at the top there this one also is broken and there should be this little tang here which was laying in the bottom and that was on there like that so that's what actually levers the uh, self-drive gear into action as well now this is aluminium, obviously, so Gary took this to a chap because we tried to get that welded back on there because otherwise it was a, a, a job where we were going to have to just sort of scrap this one as well. But he tried welding it, aluminium welding it, and basically he couldn't do it. He said it was too small for him to weld, so we're left with a big bit of a weld on there, and this has got to be ground down flat again. But we're still left with a situation that we've got to repair this. Normally you wouldn't go to the trouble of doing all this, but we're going to have a go anyway. But I've got some rods that you can actually weld. It's called Durafix rods. And they can weld aluminium to aluminium using low heat, in other words, with a, pure, a propane torch as opposed to um, TIG welding. Uh, so we're going to give that a go. So we might be able to show you this tomorrow of us having a go with this, but we're not too sure at the moment. Where do you want that? Put that in there. Yeah. But failing that, we'll have to repair... Uh, change that again for another gearbox if we can't repair that one so that's just what we're doing in here now I've also been working on the little lawnmower which I've got and as you can see this one's nearly ready for this is Jimmy look leaving stuff about look been working on the cars you know all my tools are left out look all left open look that's Jimmy for you isn't it these should these are brand new these should be in the drawer because everything's in, in order or well, it is when I'm working anyway so yeah I've just got this one all sort of ready to be sanded down now 
and this is literally just to put back together repaint i'm going to repaint this but that's not for today's video anyway but we're just showing you around anyway so anyway that's that i'll see you in the next video because i'm going to be busy over the next few days i've got some more videos to film on one of my other channels as well so um anyway thanks very much for watching with this little update vid on my garden and uh we'll see you again shortly anyway bye for now